All right, you guys. Um, for those of you who wish to support us here in this channel, um, you can do so at PayPal at um, themullings at gmail.com. For those of you with tickets, citations, mortgages, foreclosures, um, those of you with child support cases, those of you with child support cases, here's what we recommend. First, go to your spouse, if you can, or a, uh, a mediator, someone that you can trust that can negotiate on your behalf and stuff, right? And those of you with um, <clears throat> student loans, warrants, and um, those of you having to see an agent doing business parole officer, as well as those of you in for nonviolent offenses, you can email us for the GSA bonds to set off, set off, set off the matters using the unlimited credit on the social security numbers and the birth certificate bonds and those accounts, and then go back and do the 1099 OID to get back the finances they claimed, basically. Now, you guys know I like to start off with the scripture here. <clears throat> As some things have come to our attention that, um, yeah, we're trying to see if we can shed some light on some stuff that was shared with us early this night. Um, Psalms 91, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall del deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the air that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. <clears throat> a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because he has made, because because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. All right, and Psalms 121, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber nor sleep. He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Thank you to all of you for sharing with us this night all this amazing research. There's so many people around the globe now with their cameras out to see what's really going on and stuff, trying to get away from the mass fake news media, which I find really interesting, some of the stuff that they've shared with us here. But before we start, you guys know we like to do a little bit of housekeeping here. Attention all international authorities, globally, Federal Trade Commission, Antitrust Department, also the Federal Bureau Investigations, also um, the Criminal Investigations Division, um, Internal Revenue Service, also the Fraud Department, Thank you all for um, sharing with us this night and for implementing most of, if not all, of these public affidavits we've done so far, right? Thank you for, um, yeah, halting. I think it was what we were told was they halted some of the mortgage payments and the student loans and that. What we're asking and commanding and ordering is that they be stopped. All the fraudulent um, mortgage collections and student loan collections, which we know is double dipping, right? So stop those immediately. And then the uh, 20,000 or 10,000 stimulus package that you're sending out <laughs> for those of us here and globally who are heirs, who've never been taught how to set up a business and who are the original indigenous people, send it to us automatically. All right, now um, we wanna thank you for all those um, uh, information that you shared with us this night and for implementing all the public affidavits that we've made here starting with the ones that were created from the judges, the Moorish American consulate judges, that they had created to um, return all the lands to the heirs globally, right? And took back all our natural resources and what have you. 
Um, now, as per this current destruction um, with this um, uh, fiction patent, um, a lot of people have shared with us their private videos and stuff showing the empty hospitals and empty emergency rooms and some of the um, splicing of the same videos that they're using for two different hospitals in two different locations. Some hospitals in the America are using the exact same video footage that a hospital in Europe is also using. Um, thank you to the Harvard professor and others who um, did interviews and stuff. And there's one in particular that showed a picture of Martin Luther King sitting with a head adjacent to a military official in a background photo picture mural that was on the wall. Thank you for that. As such, we order, command, and demand this night that all said lands being hoarded by the Amish Mennonites and the now known um, agents, right, appears also to be run by, <clears throat> by the very same um, Amish heads that we were told by our queen so many, many moons prior that um, these entities were in fact responsible for these administrators doing business as judges, which we now, after doing some research, seems that the Child Protective Services, Children's Aid Societies, and what have you globally, are also being run by the very same agents. As well as it looks like the Chief of Police and a lot of these bank heads <clears throat> doing the said fraud foreclosures with setting up these um, sting operations to steal the people's children and create havoc in their families and by using these spells and what have you. So a lot of people, as you know, have reported to us a lot of the challenges that they've been facing in their direct tribes and families and some of the issues that their spouses or former spouses have been um, subjecting them to with the help of the same Child Protective Services organization heads. So what you're going to do is um, now, after realizing all of what has been going on, all designed to keep the peoples emotionally um, consumed, not realizing that these agents who seem to be totally removed from all these forms of technology, like we have been taught to believe that the Amish and Mennonites don't use technology, only to see in the video that they do. So now we have to ask the questions, why do they have to have access to computers? Why is that so important that they have to have access to cell phones? Is it possible these secret society agent heads must be connected to the fraud that they're implementing? Anyways, so the angels explained to us about the celebrities and stuff and why they were set up as a decoy to keep the masses entertained, distracted while the thieves ran amok secretly to steal the people's stuff. Not only the heirs, but the poor whites as well too, right? So while we were busy watching them, <clears throat> all this stuff was being implemented behind the scenes to steal the heirs and the family's God-given wealth. So now, see to it this night, the head Amish Mennonite agents char charged with treason and inheritance theft and have all said lands globally returned to the heirs, the masses, the original indigenous people on the planet, the American Indian Indians, Moorish American nationals, the original Jews. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter by Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian, Elodial Title, Moorish American National, Surrey Juris, Surrey Heiress, Heiress of the World's Vast Estate, by Noble Honorable Angie Elena D. Alfred L., Rubenite Tribe Chief, UCC 1-308, without recourse, all rights reserved, I send by the book of Ruth by my father, Ruben. All right, so um, there's a bunch of stuff I want to, I posted these already. Everything I'm talking about has already been posted and sent off internationally. Um, and why I was talking earlier about the fact that all um, stated now in these public affidavits, any agent that's listed in those um, prior um, public affidavits or lawsuits, right, that we have now squashed and remedied, that these agents must answer back under penalty of perjury with their full liability bond signed by a lawful judge or clerk with date, stamp, and seal um, with their nationality identification cards, foreign registration statements, anti-barbie statements, and um, tax exemption letter. Why? <clears throat> because most if not all of that, um, though we didn't know who um, was involved with each piece of the puzzle because we had made the quit claim deed 
And we started out, I was saying that we had 10 that we, I thought we were going to put on that quick claim deed. And then it turned out to be 300. And we sent that off internationally, right? To who? <clears throat> notice to agent is notice to principal. Notice to principal is notice to agent and to all ears and the signs. What does that mean, people? Well, basically it means that what we're seeing now and unfold and uncover, they have to do exactly that. So unless they respond and rebut all with their wet ink signatures, as stated earlier, all stands as what? Law, truth, fact, unrebutted, right? All truth, fact, law, unrebutted, which now Mother Nature and the ethers kick in and take control of, right? So we just wait for everything to show up. That's what we're saying. Anyways, um, now somebody had made a really cool video and he was saying that this is a guy, this was a particular guy who was really... Um, I guess he was a genius and he had done a lot of extensive research about a lot of this stuff. And I discovered that you can't really catch a virus. You can't catch a virus. A vi you cannot catch a virus. How the virus is transmitted, it can only be injected. Now, one of the things he was researching was not only the patent of the said um, COVID fiction. <clears throat> so um, we had talked about that in an early video and put the patent on, up as to who was claiming, um, yeah, who the agents were that set that ship up. He also was able to uncover da, 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 the patented U.S. vaccine that was also created around the same November 2019. So the, the patent numbers were U.S. 2657852 and also one in Europe, which was EP 317317251 9B1, I think it was, or 981, I think it's 9B1. Both approved November 2019. So you guys go and look that up. Don't take my research for it. Go and look it up, right? Now, um, something else I was looking at earlier that the powers that be had shared with us here. There was a series of videos where some people had gone out with their cameras only to discover that the hospitals were in fact empty. The trucks were empty. The, the waiting rooms were empty. Um, yeah, so a lot of what the mass media was putting out there was um, propaganda, fake news, and the question was why, right? So I was listening to a lot of Jerry Lewis um, interviews, and um, yeah, the stuff that they were being subjected to, and he was talking at one point about when he met, um, I think it was um, uh, Dean Martin, and um, how they were um, forced to come up with this act. And they were threatened by, I think it was um, this particular um, <clears throat> head of this group. <laughs> and how, um, yeah, they had to come up with this act. And it had to be entertaining in that for however long they managed to do that. But when you listen to his interviews, he, I was explaining that I think he said he lived in a 33 bedroom house and he had all these, I want to say research organizations set up across the country. Was it 14 of them? Go and research and see if those are still up and running. Because I was listening to another entity talk about all they were focused on was getting the vaccine out. And so is that, com are those companies connected is the question I guess I'm asking, right? So you guys go and look to see who the research companies are for those vaccines and find that out. Once you do, send it to us here so we can research it. Now, um, one of the things in this video um, by this Harvard professor, she was explaining about the data collection and how the data collection was um, about uh, capitalism and us being controlled in a way that I guess this, this has been going on for a really, really long time and it was perfected or I guess put out um, um, in full effect in China. And then you guys know what happened there, right? It affected the people, they went into the hospitals and then they injected them with that crap. So um, what she was explaining was how big corporations were profiting from our uh, data information collection surveillance and without our, with our ignorance or without our knowledge or consent. So shut that ship down. And then somebody else created a video where they were explaining that um, the threat of the, the 5G. 
uh, there was a whistleblower out in Europe who had um, discovered that um, they were collecting some data to control the Americans over, yeah. Here, you guys are going to go and watch these videos in more detail because I'm trying to um, recall some of the stuff that I heard because I watched quite a few of them. And then this one particular video was talking about this, um, what's really going on behind the scenes, that there was 17 plus different military groups um, who've landed in Europe to go and collect and round up all those heads that are responsible for all this stuff. And then part of the plan was to undermine the economy that um, Donald Trump, since he's been in, apparently has created a lot of jobs and stuff. And a lot of people we spoke to in the Americas have said that they were prospering and doing really well since he's been in, whether a lot of people realize that or not. Now, um, so part of the plan was to plummet the economy. So the stimulus package, it's uh, what we were saying was, it was reported to us today that there was different sets of funds that were available. Eh? One was for 10,000 and then um, which um, any small business could access for a multitude of things, as long as they had receipts to prove that the funds were being used for the business. And then there was another 5,000 for each employee, I think it was, and um, that had other stipulations. And then another one reported that if you had, uh, I think it was like a 17 or eight or a 19 year old that you that lived with you, but you weren't claiming them on your taxes, they can also apply for, I think it was a 1200 as well too. So you guys are gonna go to our older videos. You'll see the links to each of those videos, either in the description below, or some of them I posted right in the comment section, because there's a lot of information that's coming in for people to be able to access some of those um, funds that are available. And um, our wish is to see all the stuff that we've made public in these affidavits come to fruition and implement it properly so that the people can be free and um, live in love, truth, peace, freedom, justice, and equality for all. All right, so you guys are going to go now, do the research. Don't take my word for it. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to give all these videos a thumbs up. Remember us when you're getting all your stuff, come back and tell us. And um, yeah, so we were sharing with someone earlier today that um, we noticed that over the years we were talking about um, our, zodiac, our zodiac sign makeup and astrological makeup and how um, a lot of us were unequally yoked with um, our partners because I think it was Dr. Ali Muhammad was sharing about our um, true... Um, you know, they give those chart readings, right? Well, there's a real chart reading and you're supposed to be able to, what used to happen is was our elders used to pick our partners for us from, from birth. And I guess we were connected similar to what goes on with the Hindu groups where they, or the Gujarati, where they pick the partner for um, the, 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 the children as they get older, they marry a particular, they, they arrange marriages. Anyways, we had moved away from that, so we were just picking people willy-nilly, and then what would happen was we would pick people that are unequally yoked, not compatible, like they seemed all right for the, uh, the very beginning, and then as the astrological systems shifted, their energy shifted, and so the monster inside of all of us were coming out, and whether we we're able to hone in on that or control it or protect it or, yeah, I don't know if we had that capability. Um, something else was shared with us. So I'm saying this to say that just to be mindful of that when you're in your relationships, that a lot of what's going on uh, negatively is the fact that each zodiac sign may not be necessarily compatible. Why we say when you're having issues like child support issues or what have you to get a mediator or someone that you could trust to um, you know meet the child, if they're, they're if you're picking up the child for the weekend or what have you, you meet them there and pick up the child there. And then as you're doing these um, arrangements privately to get out of the um, fraud uh, buildings, doing business as courts with these administrators, um, that you meet privately and you work in an arrangement privately, right? You can also go back to our older videos we've shared with you, the promissory notes, <clears throat> the international promissory notes, the estate money orders, 
the international bills of exchange and how to implement those along with a lot of you now have the book, the Wiley um, uh, uh, general um, accounting, um, uh, accepted accounting principles to actually um, know how to go about implementing that, right? So um, something else I wanted to touch and I don't know if I'll remember it now, but I was talking about um, the compatibility of the people and that um, we know that there is a spell casting going on. That's why we had to claim our proper person and claim correct our status on the record, claim our nationality. And remember you guys keep your birth names, keep your birth names, keep the birth name that's on the birth certificate. Just add L Bay Day Aller Alley to the end of it. Go to rbbaypublications.com to get your nationality identification cards. Um, something else I wanted to touch on briefly, if the universe will allow me to bring it back to memory. Okay, I got to speak in my indigenous tongue to bring this into fruition. What's happened to the people here? Uh, we were on the road today and there was a bewilderment uh, disconnect. Oh, one of the things this guy was talking about in this video was that how we are attracted to one another is by scent, is by smell, is by scent. Now, we know that we used to, we were taught that we were attracted to one another um, and we were taught that it was a physical appearance, but it's actually by smell. We have an innate ability to detect um, that person's smell, odor or whatever. And that is what draws us to that particular individual. But what happens is um, he was explaining that when a pregnant woman or sorry, when a woman decides she's going to get pregnant or she wants to get pregnant and she comes off of the birth control um, stuff, that heightens her senses, her smell, her awareness. And usually what, well, not usually, but sometimes what tends to happen is when she comes off the birth control, she realizes she's no longer attracted to that person. The smell that they have, her, because her senses have now become heightened, she's lost the attraction to her partner, which would explain why a lot of the marriages and relationships end in divorce or breakups when the spouse gets pregnant. Because if we as women lose that attraction to them, when our senses are heightened, you see where I'm going? Now that brought something else to the attention when he was talking about that because with this COVID fiction, they're telling you to use disinfectants, right? So if you're using all these disinfectants, what I was saying was, well, our physical makeup is important. Our smells, the way we are as a people is significant for us to continue on the planet, right? So if you're using these disinfectants, my point is, is that not affecting our own innate um, ability to um, attract or to know what we're attracted to. In other words, you're now bombarded by these chemicals, right? So you're smelling these chemicals all day, every day. In essence, you can't smell each other. You can't, the attraction, like today, I went to the market today, right? And I swear to God, it was the weirdest feeling. The people were all there, the regular people, whatever, but there was just very, of course, everybody's freaking out because of all the propaganda, right? So people are not as interactive, number one. Number two, I mean, we were pretty, pretty much in and out of there for like, like 10 minutes. Normally we go there and you linger a little bit, chit-chatting and whatnot. Today it was just in and out. And um, 
I don't know. We had a couple conversations, but for the most part, it felt like <clears throat> the people were so worried about this stuff that they had been miseducated with that they had set up these water tanks beside their stalls and stuff, right? Which is perfectly fine. I think it's a good idea to have that anyways, just to, you know, people want to, whatever. However, <laughs> what's my point? My point is that what is the payout? Well, who's getting paid or who, yeah, who's getting paid from this distraction and why is it so important that the people lose their uh, innate ability to smell? Why, why is it so important that people lose their ability to connect? You see where I'm going? There's something going on in terms of this social distancing um, in that I know it's a, it's a fear mongering and it's a propaganda, but it's also affecting the people's natural um, state of being. You see what I'm saying? Because if you're in a relationship with your spouse or your, you know, your tribe or whatever, and all you're consumed with doing is washing your hands and your, your physical being every five seconds, right? So you lose that what? Or innate ability that it that inertia that um, that stuff that's ingrained in all of us, right? Um, you lose that. So, for instance, one of the the reasons why people really like traveling here and to the so-called tropics was that the people were they had a motto here one time would say no problem, everything's iry, every all is you know everything's curry, everything's you know copacetic, right? However, if the people are now so consumed with not interacting on a level, um, then it totally, um, in, when we were traveling in Canaanite land, Canada, one of the things we noticed was that the people were almost, they weren't zombies, but they were so um, self-absorbed or so ingrained with these ideologies that you would pass someone in front of you or beside you and you'd never have to say hello or look at them or glance at them or good morning or nothing like that. Whereas in our culture, you had to always say good morning or you pass someone, you would recognize them or you'd wave to them or whatever. And actually today it was funny because the first person I saw was this guy that normally stops and we sit and chit chat or we just talk in passing and he was saying he was going to this job and he couldn't he couldn't stay and chat with me and we were talking for a minute while he was walking and i was saying you see normally he would have stopped and we would have stood there and talked for a minute right um i'm just saying is it affecting you guys notice that it's affecting the people's interactions globally that's what i'm saying so that social distancing has to stop I get the fact that they are trying to round up stuff. I'm not against that. I'm just saying that that doesn't make any sense culturally. See where I'm going? Culturally, because it affects the people's interactions and how they're um, exchanging and how they're, um, yeah, their ability to do commerce, it affects that because we were in and out. We didn't do much. And so small somebody else was saying that it's an attack on small businesses because a lot of small businesses are being um, more impacted by this social distancing right so we're saying to stop it let the people go back to their um livelihoods and do the stuff that they're accustomed to doing those of us who are not you know um uh, regular participants in like day-to-day -day society like us here, we don't really with people every single day, but the fact of the matter is we do get a chance to see and observe the interactions of others, eh? Which is why we're here as angels. But on the same token, when we see it, we recognize there's something wrong with how things are being implemented. So international authorities globally now go and see to it that the social distancing uh, propaganda stops and now explain to the people about the fact that their senses are important. Common sense tells us that in order for them to connect, to procreate, to be as a group, as a tribe, as people generally, they need to have that ornate ability 
that instinctual ability, God-given ability that's given to them naturally to smell one another, right? So they can connect and exchange properly. That's what we're saying. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter by Noble Honorable Angelina D. Alfred L. Ruben I Tribe Chief, American Indian, Lodial Title, Moorish American National. I'm laughing because you see when when you think about it, right? And you, you realize the impact of how sensitive we are as a people and how all those senses, those God-given senses are important to, to existing in this planet and why we've been given these senses and why it's so important to connect with each other um, uh, physically or mentally or what have you, right? <sighs> Boy, I tell you. Who would have ever thought we have having this conversation? Anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great, great day. Remember to give these videos a thumbs up. Go back and do the research. Don't take my word for it. But yeah, connect with one another and stop using those bleaches, right? Stop it. All right, it's just brought up another um, situation that just came to mind as I'm talking about this birth control, right? Now, you guys remember we were talking and sharing many moons ago about one of our uh, therapists, our caregivers were explaining that, I think it was my massage therapist, they practice in their culture um, this thing where, let me see if I can remember how it goes. All right, the woman's body 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 fluids right down there there's a certain texture and based on the texture of the woman's fluids she can tell whether she can have relationships with her husband that night and not have to worry about using protection right so say they didn't want to have um they didn't want to procreate like they already have two or three children and they said okay we that's all we want to have so she knows based on the fluid texture um, I forget how it is now, um, whether they can procreate or have relations that night or whether to abstain or to wait, right? We weren't taught that. So that was one of our God-given gifts um, that we had originally as Indigenous people. Before birth control companies were invented, we knew um, instinctively what to do, right? <sighs> you guys go back and do the research on that, right? Um, if I find it, I will share it. But yeah, because I think what ends up hap what has to happen eventually with these clinics now being shut down, people have to go back to their original beings and learn those original techniques to. Um, so if you don't want to have 25 children and you still want to remain with that one partner or whatever, you can um, do natural forms of birth control. That's my point. Okay. So go back into the research for that. I will do the same. And if I find it, I will share that and post it. I'll probably just put in the link in the description in the video because it's, it's hard for me to describe that. But there's, you guys know, those of you who are doing it, there's a certain texture in the woman's body fluids down there that she can tell whether it's time or it's the right time to um, um, have relations and not have to worry about um, getting pregnant or what have you. All right. Okay. That's it. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day.